this is my um, check-in, my, I guess my last check-in for my no-buy. It has been fine, I guess. Like I said in my last check-in, I realized how, just how much time I waste trying to find something to buy. My problem isn't actually like buying, but it's the intent to buy, if that makes any sense. I, I have like a set budget, which is $30 per month um, to spend on everything. And that's generally been my way of allowing myself to buy stuff without going crazy. But then um, the past couple of months, I have been doubling that. And for some people, you know, $60, that's like nothing. I know people who like their, their budget is like $200. But yeah, so in my, in my case, I, I'm saving up for things. Like I want like my husband and I to buy either a house to renovate or a parcel of land to build a tiny house, house on. That's, that's real. I, I, I feel like I've heard like Western books say parcel of land. Am I making things up? Because my husband was like laughing at me. He's like, who says parcel of land? I was like, literally everybody says parcel of land. Here's the thing, okay? Please don't make fun of me. I know how stupid and like backwards I am, but just hear me out, okay? I don't have credit. I have never had a credit card, okay? Um, that is for various reasons. Okay, so the first reason being is, like, my, my parents were not financially savvy, and they maxed out their credit card so much, and I saw, I saw that. I saw them being financially uneducated, I guess. We were definitely in the, um, middle to upper class socioeconomic bracket. It's not that we were poor, but my parents acted like we were poor because they owed so much money. And like I saw it firsthand, like anytime they couldn't afford something, I like, just put it on the credit card, put it on the credit card. I saw that and it freaked me out. And so I saw it as not my parents' inability to be responsible, but more of seeing credit cards as bad. I made it a point at a very, very young age that I was not gonna be like them. I was not going to live beyond my means and I'm not going to make my kids suffer because of my inability to live within my means. And I did not, I, I didn't even know how to open up a credit card, dude. I. I tried to apply for credit cards at a young age so I can build up my credit and I was denied. I didn't know how to get credit. I didn't know how to do it up until three years ago <laughs> where my boss at the time, I told her that um, I don't have any credit. Like I just, I don't exist. I did not have a credit number. And she was like, well, you could try to get a secured credit card, which is you take your, like about maybe $50, $200, $1,000, how much you want to spend, and then what you pay would be the credit line. Uh, stars didn't line up until my, my husband got a job. So I was able to save up $200. So yeah, I opened up a secured credit card with like a 200 limit, and my husband also is trying to build up his credit as well. So my plan is to spend 20 to $30 a month on like whatever bull crap and then paying it off right away. And if I can do, keep that up, which I don't think that would be difficult for me, uh, but we'll see. Uh, if I keep that up for like six months, then I could, if I save up at the same time, uh, open up a loan to get a house. So I think, 
I don't know if I touched on that in previous updates, but yeah, that that's my financial plan. And I can't afford, I literally cannot afford to fuck it up by just spending money on makeup. It's really difficult for me because I have anxiety and depression. Shopping has become a way of looking forward to things, you know, giving myself a reason to live because a package is coming. You know, it's not good, but I recognize that that's how I've been treating shopping. I don't really like shopping that much. I can always talk myself out of not buying clothes. Um, and generally when I'm out, I can talk myself out of not buying makeup either, but it's when it's like two, three in the morning and that's usually the time where I'm like, hashtag YOLO, I'm just gonna buy it. And then the next morning I'm like, what the fuck did I do? I will tell you what, it was Black Friday not too long ago and I, I, I didn't spend anything. Do I get a chip? Is there like a make, makeup rehab chip? I wanted to because fucking bite, my favorite formula, which has my favorite makeup color, chai in the Umo's Bouge formula. That was on sale for like six dollars, six Christian dollars, and I didn't buy one. And they also had like their agave lip, blah, blah, whatever. That was also on sale, but I stayed, stayed strong, and I didn't. Like I'm kind of sad about it now, but um, today is my last day, so like now I can go crazy. But like I, I literally I can't right now because rent is coming up. So I think about it sometimes, but I say it's strong and I didn't buy anything. So you saw that I didn't shave my armpits. Anyways, that's my update. I hope you're doing well. Like if you're doing a year long till like December, what, 31st? Hopes and prayers coming your way. Like I, <laughs> I only had mine for three months and Yo, it was not a good time. So, yeah, let me know what's up. Um, and, yeah, I guess I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye.